Coffee Break Collection 13. Weather. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Aurora Borealis in 1719 from Historic Storms of New England by Sidney Purley the northern lights as they are called first attracted the attention of the people of new england in march seventeen eighteen and there was a general fear that dire calamities would result therefrom may fifth seventeen nineteen the most beautiful and brilliant aurora borealis was first observed here as far as any record or tradition of that period informs us and it is said that in new england it was first noticed only three years before this date in december of the same year the aurora again appeared and the people became greatly alarmed not dreading it so much as a means of destruction but as a precursor of the fires of the last great day and a sign of coming dangers just before eight o'clock in the evening of saturday the eleventh of the month footnote lewis in his history of lynn massachusetts says that it occurred on the seventeenth and footnote the moon being within one or two days of the full the aurora flamed up in the northern heavens with remarkable brilliancy until that entire section of the firmament seemed to be on fire stephen jocks of newbury massachusetts wrote in his journal at the time that a white rainbow appeared in the northern sky reaching from the northwest to the northeast and nearly straight in the middle the curve being imperfect it was apparently about eight feet wide jocks continues and resembled a cloud then there appeared in the north very red clouds which seemed to fly up almost to the zenith as if driven by a swift ring they then parted towards the east and vanished the bow remained an hour or two the people distinctly hearing the coruscation which in the language of the writer of that time rustled like a silken banner later in the same evening between ten and eleven o'clock from the northwest came a cloud resembling a mist through which the stars could be seen its color being deep crimson the next day other luminous appearances in the evening sky occurred though at first the people were fearful of the consequences of such sights the feeling wore off as they became more frequent and it was found that they were without any apparent effect upon the world they have now become sites of curiosity merely to most people who while they cannot fully explain them know that they portend no evil though many have ever since those early times been more or less concerned when any strange cloud appears Dr. Edward A. Hollyhoke of Salem, Massachusetts, wrote the following in his diary under the date of December 29th, 1736. Quote, the first aurora borealis I ever saw. The northern sky appeared suffused with a dark, blood-red colored vapor without any variety of different colored rays. I have never seen the like. End quote the appearance of which he wrote was that which was supposed to have reference to the terrible throat distemper which carried off so many hundreds of children throughout new england at that period just before our war with mexico occurred the red aurora appeared in its deepest color and many that looked upon it still believed that it was a forerunner of the bloody conflict End of the aurora borealis in seventeen nineteen